hello and welcome to B6 Stop Motion. In today's video, I'm going to show you all how to remove a rig from your stop motion animation. I will be using Adobe Premiere Pro as my post-production software. And before we head to Premiere Pro, I want to mention a few things that you might need to keep in mind when animating with a rig. First of all, try to match your rig uh, the parts that is closest to your object with your background. The other thing that I want to mention is that whenever you are using a rig in your stop motion, don't forget to take a picture of your clean plate, your background, whether you have anything else on the background or not, without your object. And also keep in mind to take a picture of your clean background with one of your lights off. So we might need to use this if you want to recreate the shadows. So this might come in handy later on or depending on your animations, you might not need it. But it's always good to have it just in case. With all that said, I'm going to export this video. You all know this part. Here's our video and then we have our clean plate and our shadow plate also at the end of it all right so if you haven't seen my previous video i have a routine that i usually do in order to organize my uh, dragon frame files and that is creating a new folder and i'm going to call it bouncing ball pr uh, for premiere pro and open that folder and create another folder and call it assets and here would be where you copy all your assets if you have a soundtrack music or your videos or pictures so i only have one video right now and that goes to my assets folder and i create a new folder and i call it premiere files and this will be where all my premiere files is going to be stored this is very important guys because if you haven't used Premiere Pro before um, you want to keep in mind that Premiere doesn't copy your files so if you move your video file or you delete it your Premiere file is not going to open or play that file for you so again just try to be organized and uh, you will thank me later now let's open our Premiere Pro and we are going to create a new project so location we are going to browse and find the folder that we just created and the pr files and pick that as the destination click on choose you're going to name our, our file and click on ok this is the premiere pro program if you haven't seen it before and i'm going to grab my file and drop it into the import media to start section the media part and we need to create a timeline from the video we just imported there are a couple of ways of doing that but uh, if you want your timeline to be the same size and the same resolution as the video that you have just imported then you can just drag and drop it to the new sequence so here we have our video with the clean plate and our dark plate attached to it. The first thing we need to do is um, to separate our clean plate. So I'm zooming in and I'm trying to find this is where the clean plate starts. So I'm going to get my razor tool and crop and cut that part out. Move it a little bit further. All right, and now our clean plate starts and here is where our dark plate starts. I'm going to cut that as well. So there are a couple of ways of removing the rig. We basically need to use the mask in Premiere Pro or if you're using After Effects, it's the same concept. We're using mask to either mask out our rig, get rid of that part, 
or mask out our ball and just keep this part. So what we need to do is to copy this, basically move this video file to the higher layer and bring our clean plate to the bottom. Let me make this invisible so we can see a little bit better. And here's my clean plate and I want to stretch this to the end of my video. So I'm going to select this video, get my stretch tool and drag it all the way to the end of and align it with the end of the video. Now that I have that, let me get my rigged ball. Now we need to go to our effect control section and mask one of these two. In this video, I am going to mask out my ball. So I'm going to grab my pen tool and I am going to click on this stopwatch that will allow me to change the mask from one frame to another and zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to draw a mask around this ball. Okay, if this happens and you don't you're not able to see what is going on just turn off the effects icon and that will allow you to see what is happening and you can refine selection and if you have any not very round edges in your animation you can fix it with uh, masking as well that's why i prefer to mask my object sometimes depending on how difficult the scene is comparing to the rig. Now, if you want to change the feather, I think 10 is like a little bit too much, maybe three. And now let's take a look at it. So this is the area that we masked. Let me click somewhere else so we can see. All right, so this was what we had before and this is how it looks like with the rig removed. We basically need to keep repeating this let me bring back the rig and click on mask so I know where everything is. And let's go to the next frame. The next frame does not need a rig. So I can just move the mask out of the way. Let's go to the next one, doesn't need a rig. Now let's move our mask over here and modify it to what we have on the animation so something like that this is a pretty time consuming process and no matter what program you're using it's going to take some time so be prepared I have masked my entire animation and now let's click on the effects and watch and see how it looks like. And by the way, don't forget to save your work. Let's play this. I don't see any mistakes here. Uh oh. So something is happening here. One of these frames doesn't have anything. Let's look at it. Where's the mask here? Okay, so I have masked out that area and I should have masked this area. And same as for this one. Okay, now that looks good. Let me click somewhere else so we get to see it. So right now my ball is masked and it's moving pretty nicely and I even fixed some of the edges that I wasn't able to create a clean clay project. This is one of those animations that I did like a while back and it was more of a practice run. Okay, 
So I have the ball、um, mass right now. What about the shadow though? The way to add the shadow, we gotta basically mask the shadow again. Because if we don't use the mask, let's bring that back. The shadow has the wire shadow in it too. We have the wire shadow in our scene as well. So we only need to mask out this area. So、um, there are two ways of adding the shadow. Either you can create another mask to this same video, the same layer. But what I like to do is creating another layer that is just for the shadows. So what I do is hold my Alt key on my keyboard and drag the video to the second layer. Now I have a layer of the shadow, a layer of the ball, and a layer of my clean background. Another、uh, thing that I need to mention is that when you have finished making a mask for your ball, you should have、uh, one of these key points. For every single frame, so if you don't have a keyframe for one of them, go back and take a look at it, and something might look a little bit off. So double check that one. Now let's go to our shadow plate, and this is also I copied、um, the ball video which has the mask on it, and I'm going to remove this mask. By just hitting delete, and now the whole mask section is gone. And this one, we are going to mask out the shadow. So let's start by basically doing the same thing, getting my free tool, and we are clicking on the stopwatch. We don't need to、um, draw this mask right around the shadow, and I will show you guys why in a second. I'm going to add feather. I think 99 might be working here. Let me move my mask a little bit. That looks pretty good. Like that's a pretty decent mask for the shadow. And we can always come back to it and fix it later. Now let's go to the second frame. So we basically need to do the same thing for every single frame again. All right, here we go. Now the、uh, shadow is also animated. So let's go frame by frame. It's nice, good, 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 and back. That's how you can remove a rig. I have three layers. The first one is basically just a shadow. The second one we just masked out the ball and cleaned up the edges as well. If my clay wasn't that smooth. You can also change the feather on this one if you want. And the last one is the clean plate on the background. We didn't end up using the dark plate, so we can delete that. And if you want to create a more of a loop of this one, just hold Alt on your keyboard and drag your files. Select all, click on Alt. And drag. Now our ball will be bouncing three times. This is how you can remove a rig in a simple bouncing ball animation. I tried to keep this simple and as short as I possibly could. I hope this was helpful. If you found value in this tutorial, please click on like button. And if you are a Dragon Frame fan and you're Interested in learning more about it? I will be sharing a video every Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, and I hope I see you in the next one.